My name is Christian Seal. I'm 29 years old, and I'm the founder and managing director of Startup Bootcamp here in Miami. Um, we're a seed stage fund and accelerator program focused on really one goal. It's transform healthcare, but do it here in Miami. And a big part of that is we have some really intractable issues. So we spend about $3 trillion a year in healthcare. A trillion dollars is waste. Um, if you're born just right across in this community in Overtown, your average life expectancy is 27 years less than somebody born in a more wealthy zip code. And so we really want to move the needle to make our healthcare system more equitable, efficient, and accessible, but also close gaps where there's disparities based off of income or race um, here in Miami. So started to put it together in 2015. And then I made an announcement in November of 2015 and officially launched early 2016. And we've been in existence this year. Uh, we've made 11 investments to date in companies from Israel, from Latin America, from all across the US. And this year went to 30 different cities to find these best entrepreneurs that we could to bring them here to South Florida and help them scale their other companies. Mm -hmm. So one, I have a really just personal passion for healthcare. So uh, I unfortunately, you know, as many of us have horrible stories in healthcare. My grandmother passed away from a misdiagnosis um, around cancer. My dad's now blind in his eye because of a botched cataract surgery. Uh, I personally was hospitalized when I lived in Columbia and spent about 24 hours in the hospital had two parasites. When I was discharged, I got a bill for $53. And then four years later, I was in New York. I dislocated my pinky. I went to the ER there. A uh, plastic surgeon came, pulled my pinky three ways, and I got a bill for $17,300. And so for me, that was, wow, there's a really big opportunity here in healthcare to change things. And so it's really a personal passion that drives my interest in healthcare in terms of why Miami. Uh, we're the second largest healthcare spend on a per capita basis in the US. We have really successful healthcare entrepreneurs already. So whether it's Maurice Ferre, who sold Mako Surgical to Stryker, or uh, Mike Fernandez, who sold m multiple companies, there's people here that know how to build and scale companies. And that's really important when you're building an entrepreneurial ecosystem. And then also we're the gateway to Latin America, obviously. And so we've had one company, which is the largest telehealth provider in Latin America, come to Miami to scale their company across the US and we're seeing companies whether it's from Israel or other places coming to Miami to then scale down uh, to, to Latin America so I don't think there's any reason why we can't compete with Boston or San Francisco for the best healthcare talent as it pertains to entrepreneurship I think the de definition varies and in, in the environment that we are where you know everyone wants to build a startup uh, you start to see um, the definition changing and expanding so I would say um, if you are a company that are, is doing you know, over a million dollars in revenue, you probably start to get into the scale-up um, definition and the you know, number of employees. Look, some people do things really efficiently. So WhatsApp um, was sold you know, to Facebook for $19 billion with less than 100 employees, right? I mean, that just, that's a very strange concept. Um, when, when you think about companies that are worth that much have thousands of employees. So um, I, you know, we think about it from a revenue standpoint. Um, and I think there's one thing here in Miami which is interesting, which we have the largest number of startups, um, excuse me, the second largest according to the Kauffman Foundation, but we're the second least in scale-ups. So what that means, and I think they lo I look at it from an employee basis, which is we have a really hard time scaling over 12 employees. I don't know what that equates to on a, re a revenue basis here in Miami, but really what we want to do is let's get that company over the hump. There's some great entrepreneurial activity, there's some great small businesses, but let's go ahead and create companies that create tons of jobs, create tax or revenue um, you know, for, for the city. We love, we love all our children. <laughs> um, but so yeah, I'll speak, I'll speak about a few. Uh, we had uh, one local entrepreneur, and I'll, I'll speak to ba Baby Scripts as well, called Care Angel. The entrepreneur's name is Wolf Schlagman. He built his first company called uh, Consultadoc, which was sold to Kleiner Perkins, which is a very reputable venture capital firm, and Teladoc, which is a publicly traded company. So entrepreneur here in South Florida had a successful exit. He's created a really, um, I would say, cool and just interesting, innovative product called Care Angel. And what it is, it's an artificially intelligent powered caregiver. So what that means, I know it's a lot, uh, what that means is, if you're a grandmother, let's say, um, you know, you, you care for her, 
it's probably annoying to call her up every five minutes. Did you take your medication? Did you do this? Angel is um, a robot, basically, that's calling your grandmother and asking some very simple questions and getting smarter with each response because it's powered by machine learning. And based off of that is telling you, you want to know what grandma's sick, you, you need to go see her. Um, and so it's, when you think about it, people typically use call centers for that, and it's a very, very cost-intensive thing. But with Angel, you can check in, um, and you really only spend you know, less than a percent of your time at the doctor's office. So to have 99% of the other time, nobody has, knows what's going on with these people, Angel can call them and you know, make sure they're doing OK. Uh, Baby Scripts, yeah, they're a re really interesting company. They're working in 13 health systems currently. Um, and they're the first uh, physician-prescribed mommy kit. So what that means is if you're an expectant mother, your physician will give you Baby Scripts. Uh, which is right now a weight scale and a blood cuff monitor and a, a digital app. And what it does is it connects you throughout the whole pregnancy. So typically you go to the OB about 14 times. Um, with baby scripts you go eight and it gives a peace of mind um, that you might not have otherwise. And look, they're doing well from an economic standpoint, but I think the, the really important thing is they've saved two ch children's lives. And um, you know, the reason they started the company is to make sure that babies are healthy. We um, uh, are always lo looking at c companies. It's, uh, I'm a big believer that if you meet someone that is amazing, just because timing doesn't work out, you, know, you need to make sure that you're keeping in great contact with them, because uh, you know, great people is what, at the end of the day, builds amazing c companies. So we're always um, recruiting, if you will. Mm -hmm. In terms of the formal process, yeah, it's a year-long um, cycle that we'll repeat, uh, but we are always in contact with, with great, great, great entrepreneurs and, and folks are always sending us a perspective of companies.